Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video and today it's going to be another one from Rin and the song is called Heretic. So let's just jump straight into it and see uh, how different this one is from some of his other stuff because it seems like Rin has got a very diverse style and I've seen a little bit of everything from him so far. So let's get into it. It's such a perfect day to be washed away. I went and sat by the shore and I counted the waves. I counted a hundred and eight reasons I want to escape. But then the reasons they crash upon the shore and they break. I don't, I don't think, think I've got, got the stamina for this anymore. I'm not sure that's why I'm. I'm liking this animation already. This is cool. This is different from any of his other videos. I don't think I've got the stamina for this anymore. I'm not sure that's why I'm here by the shore. But I'm sure that I'm so tired of searching for. For messiahs asking why, 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 why must I battle this Goliath? I'm a force of nature, don't you know? I'm aware of it, but I'm so very sick of feeling so very sick. I'm tortured by the gods. I guess that I'm a heretic. Life keeps on fucking me. I wish that life was celibate. My problems keep on peaking like the Everest. The elephant in the room is that my room is in the elephant. Coming evident that we make fear president when fear trumps love, that's when the soul becomes irrelevant. My troubles keep on mounting I make no hills out of mountains Roundabouts of doubt are sounding Drown my youth inside the fountains I'm a fucking atom bomb bitch Pouring salt into the wound Watch me rip apart the stitch I'm that kid, the one that life subtracted Isolated, fractured Shakespeare reenacted I like the way that these graphics keep showing like a split uh, in the person Like basically it's kind of in my what I'm thinking is it's insinuating split personality sort of so it's like split down the middle or split across like the horizontal like right here is the vertical the life subtracted isolated frat. and then there's the horizontal so it's like no matter which way you look at it he's he's split is that what you guys are getting from this Shit. Shakespeare reenacted adapted for music is too sick I'm shining like Kubrick my method this clockwork of full metal dude with my eyes on the prize do you obey do you abide what's the price of create it also sounds like maybe he did uh, two sets of, of vocals um, because it looks like it sounds like sometimes he's harmonizing with somebody but it sounds like his own voice so I'm wondering if he recorded the song and then in certain parts of it, he came back and recorded uh, a harmonizing layer along with it so that there's two. Eyes on the prize, do you obey, do you abide? What's the price of creativity? Is it losing your mind and seeing patterns in the places where the patterns are defined? when he does that right there like the first song i saw from him was i think high Ren. and he was doing that kind of like i don't even know what that's called maybe you guys can tell me musically what that's called but kind of like it's, it's not howling but he's doing that that like riffing up and down with his voice and and, and like in a melodic way um and that's unique to Rin. like i don't know of any other musicians that I'm familiar with that have that range vocally where he goes from rapping, but then he's able to kind of like hum and sing in these melodies from low pitch to high pitch. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but it's just like 
even though I've only heard a handful of his songs, this is what I was thinking, even though I've heard only a handful of his songs, if I wasn't watching his video and I heard him come on like Pandora or radio or Spotify or something without seeing who the artist is, I would immediately be able to identify that it's Ren. And there's not a lot of modern artists that you can do that with. There's a handful of them that you can distinctly recognize, but he definitely has his own sound and it doesn't matter what genre he's, uh, playing into at that time, whatever track it is, you can still tell that it's Ren. cool song i really like the visuals um there's a band that's been around for some time now called arcade fire i haven't heard as much recent music from them but there was a time that you know they were in regular rotation for me uh musically i i have three of their albums maybe even four um i think some of the originating band members are from the houston area uh, and they're one of those bands that has like a ton of members because there's so many different instruments that they use and often more than just one vocalist. Um, but back in the day when Chrome, the browser came around as well as like Google maps, they did something that was like really unique. Um, and there's parts of this video that made me think of it and I'll explain it here, but let me see if I can find the spot. So initially it made me think of it when I started seeing all these birds and then even more so when I saw this screen right here and maybe they took inspiration from the arcade video, the arcade fire video possibly. But what happens on that arcade fire video and you, all you need to do is go do a Google search and type in arcade fire, Google maps video. And what it does is you put in your home address or the address where you grew up and it splits into multiple screens like this. Um, and there's a guy running around with like a hoodie on. So this guy, this character here is sometimes in dark, well, pretty much always in dark clothes. Uh, but then it pulls photos and clips in from Google Maps. So almost like a sort of like a live view. Um, and then it entered and then the birds and stuff kind of come in. So it it's hard to explain, but it's basically like it's following a person running through the streets uh, of a neighborhood that you grew up with in or you're familiar with. So you're seeing this uh, all take place simultaneously in these like little separate windows. And then in some of the windows, there's birds flying. So that's what made me think of that when I saw this. And uh, and then as the video progressed, you know, I started seeing more and more elements of it. So they could have come up with this completely on their own but it would be really cool to find out if they were inspired by that arcade fire video so if you don't know who arcade fire is go check them out on youtube spotify pandora wherever you can listen to them excellent band but go look for the video you're not going to find the video on youtube because it is an interactive video you'll have to do a google search for it and then go put in your address so let me know if you guys know what i'm talking about but uh, I'm going to be doing some more for Ren until I eventually get through his entire library. I think to date I've done maybe four or six, maybe eight. I don't really know. Um, but I'm going to keep working through it. Uh, I'm really enjoying the Ren journey. Um, and I love that, you know, he's so diverse in his styles of music and then the lyrically and emotions. And, and he's just it's everything's multi-layered you know, and you really got to sometimes go back and listen to the tracks multiple times. You guys have been leaving excellent comments explaining some of the things that I missed um, and different perspectives of the lyrics. So tell me what y'all's perspectives are on this one. Um, that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Later.